Hello everyone from Bodrum. This is a joint broadcast by Go Turkey and Tava Airports. Today I'm going to welcome two guests, actually two experts living in Turkey. They are already in Bodrum. I will welcome them at Milas Bodrum Airport and take them to Tau Prime Class Lunch so that I can treat them some Turkish coffee, maybe some Turkish dessert, so that we can talk about their wonderful Turkey memories. Buckle up, it's coming up now. So here we are at Tau Prime Class Lounge at Milas Bodrum Airport. Today I have two wonderful guests. One of them is a beautiful artist, dear Samantha Emery. And the other one is a real gentleman, the general manager of Grand Hyatt Istanbul, Mr. Rupat Babaya. Welcome to Milas Bodrum Airport, Tau Thank Prime Class Lounge. It's Thank so you. great to see you. Thank you. Thank Pleasure you very being much. here. You Thank both you look us. wonderful. I can feel the energy of Bodrum on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm going to ask you some questions to hear about your Turkey memories because you both have been living in Turkey for a long time. So I cannot wait, really. And I would like to start, Samantha, with you. You're an artist. You've been living in Bodrum for a long time, I believe. So. Can you tell us your story a little bit? Well, the story of my connection to Turkey is actually very spiritual. I had a, um, a very strong epiphany when I first came here. So uh, let's say my soul has some connection to this very ancient land. And then from there, I integrated into the Turkish culture, which then, of course, fell in love with the warmth. It has been how many years? 14 years now. Wow, 14 years. 14 it's years. It's a long time. Yes, gone in a flash, but it is a long time. Lots of change. In that time, I've created a lot of art. Mm -hmm. um, however, in the last four years, I've been on this project that is exploring the feminine energy. And a lot of that is drawn from this land. It's a very ancient feminine energy, in particularly this part of Turkey, with Halicarnassus <coughs> and Artemis and such so um, that's been my focus for the last four years and that's what's exhibiting right now is this series it's the second series of this project called icona <laughs> it's, wow. it's about what is the icona woman what's the energy behind the icona woman so samantha you're british canadian correct correct yes i was born in london however grew up in canada and then uh, continued growing up in england and then moved back to canada so between the two and then found myself in Turkey. Yes. So Samantha, what was the motive behind the reason of you moving to Turkey? Well, as I say, Turkey originally was a very strong spiritual connection. And then after that, I fell in love with the country itself and the people and the culture <coughs> and the weather and the food. Um, it starts like that. Thank you, Samantha. So how about you, Rufat? You're from Azerbaijan. You already know many things about Turkey, I'm sure. So what is your story? Well, my story, as you mentioned, I am from Azerbaijan. Started actually 28 years ago with Hyatt International. So Turkey is my sixth country. I did quite a part of my career in Azerbaijan, in Baku, starting my job in Hyatt from very, very low position and made my, made my career up. So I traveled um, quite well around the world and ended up in Istanbul. So how was the experience so far? You've been living in Turkey for how many years? It's been a four years I'm here, mm -hmm. four wonderful years, uh, discovering Istanbul, discovering Turkey. I went quite a lot around Turkey and discovered this beautiful country. Since 
you both living in Turkey for a long time. I just wonder if you learn any Turkish words. <laughs> so, Rufat, you already know Turkish because you're from Azerbaijan, right? Right. But few specific words strike me always, which is canım. <laughs> That's the most common use uh, and sweet used word in Turkey. Uh -huh. And the second emotional one is yokart. <laughs> yokart. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> How about you, Samantha? I'd say Janum as well. <laughs> yeah, my um, sweetheart, right? I just love it. It's just so warm. And I love Inan Omas. Inan Omas. It's unbelievable. unbelievable. <laughs> there are lots of beautiful, unbelievable things in Turkey. So that's why I think it's a very common yeah. world. Absolutely. And then Inan Omas son. I mean, you know. <laughs> You yeah. are unbelievable. Oh, what a compliment. You guys are unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, I love arkadash. It's just a mm. very, you know, specific word. Which means friend. Yes. Um, and then Igunler, Gunaida. My God, you learn a lot. Oh, I love all these very <laughs> lovely expressions. And Kolaygelsen. Everyone's Kolaygelsen. Take it easy. Take yeah. it easy. Yeah. That's yeah. And Boschver. Come on. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> because we are in both room, we don't need to stress. Exactly. Stress, yeah. So you never mind, right? Boshwe. <laughs> <laughs>
and action as well. So it depends what you're looking for. So what's the reaction of your friends visiting Botswana? They fall in love with it. They act. They 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 they, they just all say, "Clever you." <laughs> well done. <laughs> you found a beautiful place. Maybe you also convince them to move to Bodrum. <laughs> uh, I definitely, definitely get, they go away dreaming for sure. <laughs> and of course, the sailing, you know, coming in and I've sailed into Bodrum many times and it really is the most beautiful port, natural port with the castle. And so it's a landmark. So, how about you, Rufat? Have you ever been to Bodrum before? Yes, been a few times already to Bodrum and of course the, uh, I will never forget my birthday party arranged my, by my Turkish friends back in 2019. That was the first time I visited Bodrum because they know how much I love the sea. Uh -huh. So that was the first main point for me visiting uh, Bodrum. Before Turkey I lived in Greece. Mm -hmm. So four years spending in Greece at the seaside can you, you can imagine how much I miss the real sea being in Istanbul. So that was really the main point of visiting Bodrum for me, to swim, to get suntan, to do a little bit of clubbing. So the, the, the important point was to discover Gümüşlük with their little uh, restaurants, tavernas, shops, colors, and the mezes, rakı. <laughs> At the seaside, having the seafood, which I preferably I love eating seafood. So that was the main point to discover the Bodrum for me. And I'm sure lots of people from Azerbaijan, from your homeland, they also prefer I'm to spend sure. their summer time in I'm Bodrum, sure. right? The Bodrum is the most, I guess, most favorite destination for Azerbaijanis. It's very easy accessible, of course, by Turkish Airlines, direct flights uh, from Baku and uh, I guess there are many flights a day. So it is a quite a popular destination in Azerbaijan. So Samantha, what's your favorite item from Turkish cuisine? It starts with olive oil. It's so clean. It's really the best olive oil I've tasted. And I have traveled and Turkish olive oil is the staple of, of all the dishes, of course. But um, there's nothing like it. Fresh pressed Tur Turkey olive oil is that green to it and that little bit of a bitterness, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I drink it with a spoon. Wow, you drink with a spoon? I do. <laughs> wow, every day? Almost, mm -hmm. if I'm not putting it on my food. <laughs> if I have, yeah. What do you cook? Vegetables, generally. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I eat fish, but I'm, at home I cook vegetable dishes. How about outside? What's your favorite dish when mezes. you go to restaurants? I love the, all the mezes, all the aubergine dishes and the pepper dishes and the bean dishes and the Denise Bruges, you know. I do like it with sarumsak. I like a bit of spice, so the pulbeber is so delicious. <laughs> uh, yeah. How about desserts? Do you like any Turkish dessert? I love the pumpkin dessert with the crushed walnuts on top and the, uh, the yogurt cream or the cream of the yogurt, so delicious. And the um, Iva, what is this, um, I forgot. Quince. 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 Quince, so delicious. My other favorite is Shekhar Pare, which has walnuts inside with syrups, delicious, with a chai. The Turkish tea is very famous as oh. well. In every household, we definitely make fresh brew Turkish tea. Honestly, I could drink many cups of the Turkish tea in the daytime, delicious. So, how about you, Rufat? What do you like from Turkish cuisine? Well, I'll join Samantha's taste, saying that I love olive oil too. Mm. And then I will actually say that uh, back in time when I arrived to Grand Hyatt Istanbul, the first item I changed in the hotel was the olive oil. Wow. Bravo. So we have a, because, you know, you take your bread, you put little salt, little pepper, you dip your bread, and then you're like, you need to feel the taste, mm -hmm. right? So we're having a Hopefully you will visit our hotel, you will see it. Uh, we have a great olive oil. So that's my first favorite. Second favorite will be kuzu shish chöp. Wow, <laughs> lamb shish kebab. Lamb shish kebab. Uh, I preferably eat lamb if I have to eat meat. So that's my favorite dish. And of course, mezes, which is consists of a lot of vegetables. So I love that part as well. I think this is the most beautiful thing about Turkish cuisine. 
you have options for vegetarians and you also have absolutely. many options for meat lovers. Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, we have also calamari. We oh, I was going to say. We have octopus, right? Uh, we have shrimps, which is served uh, in the menu. So speaking of food, I would like to treat you some Turkish coffee. So here's our Turkish coffee in traditional Turkish coffee cups. Please help yourself and Thank enjoy. Thank you so much. much. By the way, I love Turkish coffee. I cannot start my day without drinking it. So how about you, Rupat? I think it's a daily experience, right, for everybody in, in Turkey to have a Turkish coffee, right? And then when you ask for it, the second question comes, would you like it sada? No sugar, medium sugar, with sugar. So we go without sugar, obviously, all the time. And I love it. How about you, Samantha? I love it. I kind of, I say I don't drink it daily, but when I drink it, I love it. And I, of course, and it's sade for me. And the favorite part, honestly, is to turn it upside down and see what my fortune's <laughs> going to be for the day. <laughs> yeah, it's very common as well. Yeah. And you know, Turkish dessert, it goes really well with Turkish coffee. Mm -hmm. Delight, Definitely. And also maybe some baklava as well. Yeah. This is it. I was going to say, <laughs> Turkish coffee for me is like paired with baklava. It's perfect. True. So we have a little gift. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We have local olive oil from Milas and also some local olives. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. So since we talk about food and gastronomy, I'm sure you will enjoy all of them. Oh, it's definitely. Very much. Literally my favorite thing in Turkey <laughs> is olive oil and olives. Love it. <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So while we're having our Turkish coffee, let's speak about other destinations in Turkey. Samantha, what's your favorite after Bodrum? Cappadocia. I had a most incredible experience there. I did an art camp and I would get up at five in the morning. It was uh, in the summer, it was July, and walk and watch the sunrise and see the balloons going up with the sun. So magical. Uh, it's really a magical place. Did you take the hot balloon tour? No, I was so busy creating art. But, <laughs> but uh, the caves, uh, it's just, it's, just, it's otherworldly, it really is. And it's so, so different from the West Coast. This is the incredible thing about Turkey. It's just so much variety across the country. In general, Turkey is a very inspirational place for creative minds because you have all the history, you have the light. Uh, a, so let's say the combination between the natural elements that are so rich and then the humanity that has come through this land, the geography, the history. So it's a big destination for art lovers to come, get inspired and create their art pieces then, right? Definitely. I would say it has, well, light is the first thing. The light is very special here. And that makes a big difference for you as a, as a creator. Um, we're not talking about the amount of daylight. It's the light itself. This is golden hue that you don't get in it's a special it's a special golden hue you do get it in parts of the world but there's something very special here and it does last longer so how about you Rufat what's your other favorite destination in Turkey I was lucky enough to visit Antep to discover the cuisine and I consider myself more lucky because I visited Göbekli Tepe which is a recent archaeological discovery in Turkey and I, uh, I know that it's been only like 18 percent discovered but more coming up, definitely place to visit. Mysterious, mm. quiet, mm. peaceful, and spiritual. But coming back to Antep, uh, the cuisine, which previously I said, actually, I'm not a meat lover, <laughs> but in Antep, you just don't stop eating. I love Antep too. Like visiting all these small restaurants, all day long you can do it. Fantastic for the food lovers. 
So all the museums are beautiful. And my favorite is Zeigma Mosaic Museum. I don't know if you have ever visited or not. On my bucket list. How about you, Rufat? While visiting Antep, I had the chance to visit it. Impressive uh, mosaic collection mm. uh, of Byzantine times. Amazing. Like, I've never seen such a big collection of mosaics in my life. I really want to ask you, Samantha, how do you see the art life in Turkey? Uh, I think it's very exciting. It's, re it's really blossoming from, from a perspective of coming into it fairly new, because I've been exhibiting generally in, in London. Um, I love the colors. You know, I can see how the artists are, are very much influenced by the vibrancy of this country between those, I was saying earlier, the light, but the color of, of the culture, the foods, the materials, the carpets. Um, I love the abstract work that's coming out of Turkey. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited to be exhibiting here. So Semenza, by the way, have you had the <coughs> chance to visit Ataturk Cultural Center, which is near the renovated in Istanbul? Not yet, but very soon I will on my next trip to Istanbul. I've heard from many people, friends in this, based in Istanbul, that it's a very beautiful art galleries and a, a gorgeous concert hall. So excited to see this. So you should definitely go. Definitely. Since we are at Milas Bodrum Airport, operated by Tav Airports, I just want the, the meaning of airports for you in your life. Rufat, let's start with you. So as a frequent traveler, the airport means a lot, of course, in my life uh, because of the comfort, uh, because of quick connections, because of uh, business lounge of every airport has, um, and finding my peaceful corner. So that's most important for me. So how about you, Samantha? Airport for me is um, a gateway to um, a new journey. Uh, adventure is always definitely connected to it, so there's an aspect of excitement. Um, and if you can have comfort with that, then you're blessed. It's a great place to focus because you're not distracted, really. You can just zoom in on any project that you're working on while you're in this transit situation of where you're heading to. And speaking of airports, we are right now at Milas Bodrum Airport, operated by Tav Airports. Tau is operating many different airports all around the world, including the lunches. So, did you like the lunch here? I love it. First of all, I feel like I'm in the 1950s. I love the style. It's crisp, it's clean. This definitely helps you, your focus, in, the, in this transit place that you're in. Mm -hmm. This work of Debre Mabil is outstanding. It, it suits this environment so well. It's very well decorated, I love it. How about you, Rufat? Definitely serves the purpose of being in Mila's Bodrum Lounge with the blend of the art and the furniture and design and that welcome experience we had uh, when entering and the food experience was marvelous. I'm so glad to hear it. Dear Samantha, dear Rufat, thank you very much for participating in our show. Such a pleasure. I really pleasure. enjoy thank every single much. moment of our conversation with you. Likewise. You have great Likewise. Turkey memories, really. So, we have a little gift from Tau Passport to you guys. Please. With this special card, you can enjoy all the Tau Prime Class lunches. This is very Not nice only in Turkey, but all around the world. You can enjoy the lunches, the fast tracks, and the buggies, and all other private services offered by Tau Passport Card. Thank you very much. Very thank kind you so of much. You. You're welcome. So once again, thank you very much for your coming. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Appreciate it. It's been such a pleasure. So that's all for the week. We will meet again with our new guest at Milas Bodrum Airport Tau Prime Class Lunch. Please follow us on Go Turkey and Tau Passport social media accounts. And also don't forget to watch other episodes of Love of Turkey. See you soon.